Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hillary Hill. Thank you for joining me and happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I am gonna just jump right in. I have an update straight from Dr. Kelly Ward. I am reading what she released yesterday, Saturday, June 19th. Today is Sunday, June 20th. Let me just get right into this, all right? It's linked down below if you'd like to read it for yourself. There, there is also other information in this article, but I am just sticking to the Arizona checking. So if you wanna see everything else, go ahead and check it out. All right, Dr. Kelly Ward, first she greeted, she said, hello everyone, time for an update. I'm your chairwoman, Dr. Kelly Ward. She's from the Republican Party of Arizona. The hand count appears to be finished with the exception of the braille ballots that require, require a braille expert, obviously. The paper examination phase is continuing. This involves making sure that the fibers on the paper are consistent. It also involves examining the ovals that are filled in on the paper and they are using special microscopes to determine if those ovals were filled in by hand or if they could have been filled in by a printer or a machine of some sort. They are moving along at a very good pace, about 100,000 papers per day. The paper examination should be done, I believe, by their projections around Saturday, June 26th, which is about a week from now. So this is something to look forward to. Despite the good work the checkers are doing here in Arizona, there are still a lot of naysayers out in full force. All right, then she discusses a little bit about uh, the virus in China. Um, I just don't wanna talk on that right now, so I'm just gonna get into more stuff about the checking. Um, all right, so then she goes on and says, in case you missed it, former New York City Police Commissioner Bernie Carrick who was in charge of the NYPD when Rudy Giuliani was America's mayor, did a tour of the checking site. As an expert on security, he was extremely impressed by the measures being taken by the checking team. Carrick compared the steps that are taken at the uh, checking facility to what you might see on a casino floor, which are, you know, they're widely regarded as <laughs> they're widely regarded as among the most secure locations in the world. Yes, they are. Sometimes it's good to listen to real experts rather than the media's self-appointed pretend experts, but that could be a long topic all by itself, she said. Then she goes on and says, I do want to say that there's been some stories out there from Democrats from Anderson Cooper and reiterated and repeated by Katie Hobbs about data that's been analyzed in other places. They're trying to make something out of nothing as usual. I'll have more on that, a future update. Remember, here at the Republican Party of Arizona, it is always America first. See you next time. So she did, she touched a little, she touched a little bit about everything in Montana. I'm not gonna touch base on that because I don't know enough information to be able to relay anything of value to you guys. So I'm gonna leave that with her when she wants to address that later on. Um, but what I do wanna say is that things are moving quick in Arizona. They're almost finished. Like I said, like I read, <laughs> the 26th is when they're supposed to be done with all of their, um, you know, analyzing the papers to make sure that the papers are even legit in itself. Uh, so that's great news. Some that's a, that's a good date to look forward to. You know, by the 26th, we'll have more information. And then after that, it's going to take time to get those results, unfortunately. I know we want it quick, 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 but it's time for us to be patient and to just, you know, sit back and wait, pray, hope, and just think of everyone that is going through all of this. And, you know, hopefully we get the results quicker rather than continuing to get them stalled um, like other states are doing. But anyway, I'll be back with more updates as I hear them. I hope you guys have a fantastic Sunday. Hope you're doing something nice, um, spending time with your fathers if you can or with your family. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys are doing well. I'll be back with more updates when I hear them. Take care and I'll see you guys soon.